Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be setting up a bullet journal style setup for our health spread. And I've got these pins here, which I will be using. And yeah, that's basically it. So let's get to it. So this week I decided to do something I was more familiar with, that kind of health fitness layout, um, originally done by the Happy Planner. It's one of my favorite layouts, so I thought I'd just try it as a bullet journal, play around with it a little bit here on the sidebar, but basically just kind of give you guys an idea for trying out this layout if you don't know if it's right for you. You can basically just create your own, see how you like it, and then if you are interested, the Happy Planner has a fitness planner uh, with this layout, and I also have some printables in my shop that are called the health layout and that is what I use on a regular basis to track my health and fitness. So for this week I decided on a theme of coffee just because everybody is on this stay-at-home order still and I am living off of coffee. <laughs> I just, you know, every morning I have my little coffee routine and it just felt like a fun thing to kind of highlight since being at home is basically all I do every day and probably you too for the most part. So unless you have one of those important jobs to keep our livelihoods going, pretty much the rest of us are at home either taking care of kids or, you know, just trying to keep busy, trying to be productive during this really weird time in history. Coffee kind of made me think of being at home and just how home focused I am these last few weeks. So just kind of laying in the structure of this spread as you can see, it's very similar to the health spreads that I have pre-printed. I penciled in for decor a little quote about coffee, which I'll be filling in. And for the top numbers, I decided on just some circles. And I had some kind of penciled in there, but they were a little oblong because I just freehanded it and grabbed this disc here to kind of give me a little guide for circles. So that's what I'm just using here. I'm also using my black friction pen to create the outline of the entire spread. Thought black worked a little better as the outlining portion of it and then using color as more of a highlight. Last week I did a very colorful spread with like three colors to start, but it just kind of felt a little overwhelming. So I brought in some black and I like that a lot better. So I think I'll just keep doing that going forward, having black as the anchor of the spread. I just put in my habit trackers and I use a stencil from the Habit Planner it's actually made for vertical boxes, for doing checklists on vertical boxes. But I found that if you lay it on its side and put the circle side to side, you can create really cute little habit trackers without much fuss. So that's how I just created those. Just a little quick tip there for you if you do have those. The circles are really well spaced for just basically doing four and then shifting it a little bit and then you can do three in between them and they come out as you see there. So just busy putting in all of the guiding materials on the spread. I put in the dates, I put in the month. I'm also putting in right now my stats, but I previously did the food journaling labeling on the top part there. So I have my breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner, and then um, the total calories for the day. I also put in goals there on the sidebar. That's why I'll put the goals for the week. 
And then I also did my water tracker there on the bottom of the sidebar a while back as well. And for that, I'm just going to put X's in each dot grid box, each square as we go. So I have seven of them, uh, or not seven, eight of them lined out so that I can easily just track off how much water I've done throughout the day. Going for 80 ounces, roughly 75 to 80 ounces a day is my goal. And so that's what I'll track there. So I've gotten all the stats and everything in, and now I am pinning in the quote that I wanted to use for this coffee theme. First I drink the coffee, and then I do the things, is what it says. That is basically, like I said, my new routine. I will say that once I add in the color, I do like the color I chose. Um, however, I tend to really like more energizing spreads in my health. The color I chose is kind of like a tannish coffee color. And I, I don't know, I think it will be fun to look at, but it's probably one I, pro I wouldn't choose or a color scheme I would choose again for health just because it's got kind of a moody feel to it and it doesn't really energize me to move, which is what I really need on my health spreads, but I still think it came out cute. I have been kind of out of commission these last few days, uh, if not almost a week now. I pinched a nerve somehow in the back of my neck. I don't know if it's because I haven't been working out the way I was before and then I tried to do that again and maybe hurt myself or I'm just sleeping wrong or I don't know but it's lasting a really long time I thought I would have been worked out by now and it's hindering my ability to work out so I might just be drinking all the coffee and doing nothing next week <laughs> we'll see <laughs> but um, I, I'll try to get energized and hopefully this pain will go away and I'll be back to normal in time to be productive on this spread. I have these Arteza brush pens and um, I guess that's a fine liner pen there. I would have liked to use my twill markers. They're like two-sided markers that have a little bit thinner tip and then the brush is a little bit thinner as well so it's got two sides to it but it didn't have the right color to do this spread it has a different color selection so i ended up using these two which actually have the same colors together and trying to make it work but it's pretty hard to color with this brush pen in my opinion I don't know if you guys like to do brush pens on bullet journaling spreads, but I'm, I don't know, staying in the lines and everything is a little bit of a challenge. But uh, this is the color I chose. I was going to add in some more colors, but I just wanted to keep it simple. I didn't want to overwhelm after last week being a little bit weird with so much color. So we're just going to do a single color spread, very simple. And I'll just add in some color where I see fit, including here next to the total calories. And I don't know why I thought that I would trace this guy out in the fine liner, but it came out a little bit rough. I guess it just adds a little color, but I could have done a better job on that. I just wrote in the days of the week. J 
just going to add in a few things like workout and be done friends. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Bye.